If you've ever looked inside a wind-up watch or a car's transmission, you would have seen a system of gears. A gear is a wheel with teeth that meshes with the teeth of another gear to transmit power on a continuous basis. Combining gears of different diameters affects rotation speed and force. This factory makes gears that go into transmissions for industrial machines. Production begins with a large round bar of high-grade steel, which contains a certain amount of carbon to make it even stronger. An automated bandsaw slices off a piece that's the right thickness for the size of gear they're making. This piece is called a gear blank. The blank is then mounted on a computer-controlled lathe. As it spins, a turret carrying a series of carbide tools moves in. Each tool takes its turn to machine the blank to a specific shape. The shower of coolant prevents overheating when the drill has its turn. This will bore a hole right through the middle of the blank. The last tool carves a groove on the front of the blank. This reduces the gear's weight. Now the blank goes into a computer-controlled mill. This will drill holes through which lubrication will flow when the gear revolves. These holes also lighten the gear's weight. When the blank comes off the mill, it's stamped with the company name and part number. Now for the gear's teeth. A machine called a gear shaper carves out the inner teeth, those surrounding the center hole with its titanium coated cutter. The machine's other components keep the cutter's movements correctly timed. The number of teeth and tooth size vary from gear to gear, so for each model, the factory has to fit the gear shaper with a specific cutter. Now for the outside gear teeth. The computer control machine that cuts them is called a gear hobber. The gear turns against it as it cuts. If the hobber cut the full depth of a tooth in one go, its cutter would chip. So the gear keeps turning around and around as the hobber cuts a bit more with each pass until the teeth are the right depth. Then the gear undergoes a computerized inspection a probe scans the entire surface, including every tooth. The data is then sent to a computer, which analyzes the dimensions and ensures they meet the engineering specifications. Gears that pass this quality control inspection go into a furnace for heat treatment. This strengthens the steel. When the furnace reaches a certain temperature, carbon is then injected inside. The gears absorb it and strengthen the steel even further. A soaking in oil afterwards hardens the metal. Heat treatment, however, distorts the steel, so each gear now goes to a computer-controlled grinder. This will restore the precise specifications needed for bearings to fit properly. This factory manufactures gears in various sizes, and not only in steel. Gears are made in many different materials, such as nylon, aluminium, brass, and stainless steel. Some gears have straight teeth, others have angled teeth, which makes less noise when turning. Gears are an essential component in everything from watches to heavy mining equipment, keeping machinery going at every turn. <laughs>